Let us all that we can to build a better future. Are you ready to laugh? I know you're heading to work right now. You're either in traffic, you're on a train, you're on a bus, you're in an Uber ride, you're 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 you're, you're in a carpool, something like that, right? But you, you deserve to laugh right now, because apparently everyone is panicking and crying because oh no, Trump, Trump, turn this man into like some sort of Saturday morning cartoon villain. Calling him a Hitler 2.0. Look, I don't agree with Trump on a lot of things, but God almighty. It is pathetic how he has made people think. And look, there was a point where, you know, hey, I I was kind of worried about Trump. But then as soon as I see him in office and he's doing all these things, well, gee, he's just no different than any other politician. Boy, did I have egg on my face. Now, look, I think he's the last person who should be president. But at this point in time, how he has made so many people panic and wet the bed, crap the bed, wet their pants and so much more. All these people are incapable of thinking for themselves. And this is really sad about our fellow Americans. They're traumatized by Trump. Now, I already shared with you guys my stories in regards to when I spoke to people about Donald Trump in just a simple conversation. And there'd be one person was almost almost driven to tears because I said his freaking name. OK. This is where we're at in the world. This is where we're at in the world when it comes down to these damn politicians and people are traumatized. But here, here, you know what? Don't take my word for it. Don't take my word for it at all. In fact, here, here. Let's. Let's listen to this guy right here. Trump. Trump says he was surprised CNN was traumatized by his town hall. Oh, oh, Trump. Come on. Come on, buddy. Don't don't be so humble. I think that was the greatest town hall I ever saw. And you know what? That supersedes Bernie Sanders town hall on Fox News. OK, because that Trump town hall. This is my opinion, my perspective. And because I laughed the entire way through it was the greatest town hall I ever saw. That's how I view it. That's how I view it. So let's get started with this article. Former President Donald Trump said that he was surprised CNN was traumatized by the town hall aired last week. That sparked criticism among lawmakers and within media circles. I was amazed to see that they were traumatized, but uh, by what took place. They were actually traumatized. He added an interview with the messenger. I think that instead of acting the way they did, they should have said, we had a tremendous ratings night, one of the best in years, many years, and spiked the football, right? I am not going to disagree with Trump right here. He is absolutely correct. He's absolutely correct. The town hall, again, drew in 3.3 million viewers, a significant jump for CNN in the 8 p.m. Wednesday night hour. So in other words, in other words, Trump is correct. These people are being traumatized by him. But he brought in the views to CNN. I'm willing to bet that the, that the big wigs at CNN were getting a massive boner because they were so happy to have so many eyeballs watching their irrelevant network. Trump also said in the interview that everyone thought his town hall was a win for him. Yeah, I have to agree with that. It was a big win. I was surprised. Again, reiterating that he was surprised CNN was not promoting it as a top ratings night for the network. They can't. They can and they can't, Trump. That's why. So there you go. I've never been so credited with success the way I have with this. Everybody, the radical left, fascist, Marxist, communist, and normal people have said that it was a total, complete victory for Trump, he said. But CNN has taken a tremendous hit, he, he added. And I'm surprised they don't really say that they had a very big ratings night. Truly surprising to me. Again. You know, CNN, CNN is just panicking. They're they're panicking. They're panicking. Because they don't want to admit it. But then you have big brain people like this. Who say stupid crap like this. From Rob Reiner, this big brain idiot. The choice could not be clear. If you want white Christian nationalism, if you want fascism, vote Trump. If you want human decency, if you want democracy, vote Biden. That's it. That's all. Well, first of all, I want to uh, talk about this word democracy, right? 
The United States isn't a democracy. We're, we are a republic, all right? So let's, let's look at the big book of words here, all right? Democracy. Look at it right here. The definition. A system of government by the whole population or all eligible members of the state, typically through elected representatives. Sounds good. Sounds like us, right? No. No. We are a republic. A republic is, right, according to big definition words, let's check this out, a state in which supreme power is held by the people and their elected representatives and which has elected or nominated president rather than a monarch. Now, we're a constitutional republic, okay? And yes, we do espouse, quote unquote, democratic values, but we are a republic. And the thing is, when it comes down to people like Biden, gee, he's, gee, Rob, he's he's made sure nothing fundamentally changed. The kids are still in cages. That's why I got to say, again, shout out, shout out, shout out to Jimmy Dore. Joe Biden crushed railroad workers strike for their corporate donors. That's the definition of fascism, you stupid meathead. Joe Biden's currently starting World War III with two nuclear powers while denying health care and living wage to Americans. You people support fascism with a smile. Shout out again to Jimmy Dore, speaking truth to power, as always, as always. And see, here, here's, the, here's the thing, too, about that CNN town hall. People are still traumatized by it. And this is a clip from the Jimmy Dore show. And look, hey, let's, let, let's laugh together, all of us. Trump, a free hour of live propaganda dressed up as a town hall. By the way, what is this shit? I mean, like, right, right, to right, right. Yeah. Is he... Is, is he, is he coking in the coke? No, he needs smart shaving. That's just the all. only questions will come from voters in the New Hampshire Republican primary, the ones who believe Trump won the election. Worse yet, Chris Lick bribed Trump because Trump agreed to let CNN fellate him. CNN will reportedly put on more Trump campaign surrogates in the months to come. And it's not just CNN. Last month, Trump... Boy, he's upset. CNN's going to cover the news. There's a guy running for president who might become president, and CNN are going to interview those. Aren't you? Yes, precisely. Again, people don't want to see Donald Trump get interviewed, but he's running for president. Same thing for any other candidate, too. Right now, everyone is so surprised that, oh, no, we have to interview Trump. Well, he's running for president. Plus, he is leading amongst all Republican contenders to not interview him or have a town hall with him is an insult. He's a candidate running for president in a major party. Now, I'm not going to vote Republican, but hey, the American people need to know why the hell he's, is he running for office. Simple as that. Bad journalism. You only interview people I like. You're only supposed to interview people we like, and you're supposed to censor everybody else. This is just what he's upset about, is that CNN plans on covering the leading candidate for president in the Republican Party. Madness and insanity all around. Shout out again to Jimmy Dore. But hold on. I want you guys to laugh because you deserve to laugh because you're special and I respect all of you. So here. Shout out again to Turncoat Don. Speaking truth to power as always. Shout out to Turncoat Don. Follow him because you got to love this collaboration video right here. Look, it's Bill Maher crying. But here's Jimmy Dore laying the smack down. He is a completely different element and much more dangerous. I mean. And so Bill Maher bought, he drinks the Kool-Aid. He thinks that Trump is a special kind of evil. Trump isn't as even evil as Joe Biden. We're the world's largest penal colony because of Joe Biden, not Donald Trump. Black and brown people are uh, uh, have their communities decimated and everybody's locked up not because of donald trump but because of joe biden bill doesn't pay close attention to what's actually happening in the day because it doesn't affect bill he's only affected by culture issues that he notices he doesn't care if there's no affordable health care he doesn't care if there's a living wage he doesn't care if there's mountains of student debt he doesn't care if there's people living under every brick it doesn't affect him. So he thinks Joe Biden's better because he doesn't say crazy stuff like Trump used to. You know, Joe Biden is finishing his wall in Arizona right now. You know, Joe Biden and Barack Obama deported more Hispanics than Donald Trump did. You know, they built those cages, right? 
Barack Obama dropped more bombs than George Bush. You know that, right? <laughs> what is your evidence that Donald Trump is a special kind of predator? <laughs> there are more insidious things happening in our culture right now, but because none of those actually affect you because you're wealthy and insulated and connected, uh, you don't focus on the things that are actually bad. <laughs> We're living in 1984 right now, and you don't give a shit because all you care about is Donald Trump. <laughs> He's a special kind of bad you think because you watched yeah. a show trial from that was concocted by the establishment to make you think that you don't know January 6th trial was a fucking show trial. You don't know that that, that the crowd was filled with feds that they knew about this. They purposely didn't have cops there. They wanted this to happen. All of a sudden, he's some kind of special evil. He's not. What's the special evil is the propaganda works so seamlessly that it makes people like you think he's a special kind of evil. You got knocked the fuck out, man. <laughs> I wanted to share that with all of you because all of you deserve to laugh. All of you need to see just how traumatized and triggered so many of our fellow Americans are because corporate media has done a fantastic job in making them afraid. You know, it's easy to say that, oh, the American people, land of the free, home of the brave. But, man, corporate media sure likes to keep people hiding under their beds because what, Trump? Trump? Look, that article I read from The Hill. Trump is absolutely correct in saying that he did a fantastic job at the town hall. He did. He truly did. And this isn't uh, just a simple uh, statement. This, this is an actual goddamn fact. He brought in the views. CNN is a struggling. Hell, CNN Plus. Remember their uh, oh-so-fantastic? Their oh-so-fantastic uh, streaming service? It went under in one month. Again, one month. Millions upon millions upon millions of dollars wasted. But yet, oh, the CNN... Big wigs are that people actually like them. Everyone's so triggered by Trump. Everyone's so afraid of Trump. Everyone, everyone. But the thing is, they need to realize that Trump feeds off this. All right. And I want to what I want to tell all of you too is don't be afraid. Don't let these people in the establishment dictate to you how you should feel. I encourage all of you to be brave and strong, keep your heads on a swivel, and keep on winning. I'm encouraging all of you to not, to not allow yourselves to be bullied by the vote blue no matter who crowd. You stand strong. You look them in the eye and tell them, I'm not voting Democrat, and I'm sure as hell not voting Republican. Now, for those of you who do want to vote Democrat or Republican, that's on you. But look, you know where I stand on it. The two-party system doesn't like you. They don't think about you. They don't respect you. But again, it is so pathetic seeing so many people being traumatized by Donald Trump. Maybe I don't know what it was about that CNN town hall that caused people to panic, but Trump came prepared. He came prepared and came out winning. And let's face it, maybe out of all of it, if I could pinpoint one point where Trump just shook the foundations of the republic, of corporate media, of the vote blue no matter who people. Maybe he scared them with this statement. The judge wouldn't allow us to put that in. Her dog or her cat was named Vagina. The judge wouldn't allow to put that in. All of these things. He would, but with her, they could put in anything. I had to put that in there. Come on, folks. This election, I, I, I was praying that this election cycle would be entertaining. And I'm happy, happy that it's actually coming true.